Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Commander Clash podcast, where we talk all things Commander. And today, we are going to stretch the definition of podcast by bringing <laughs> you a visual podcast where we rank full art basic lands. Every full art basic land ever produced up until the recording today, we are going to rank. So if you're listening on an audio-only service, uh, I recommend you hop over to YouTube so you can actually see the lands. But if you have an encyclopedic memory of the lands, uh, you can just follow along the audio as well. Uh, joined with me is a small crew today. Seth and Krim are away at MagicCon Chicago, uh, which would have been in the past when this goes out. So hopefully you met them if you were there. But joined with me today is Phil, Brewer's Kitchen. Hey, How are you doing, Phil? I am doing very well, and I do love basic lands, although the coolest ones aren't on this list. I asterix, <laughs> asterix. We'll get to the asterix. Uh, budget commander, uh, you only play basic, so you got to be you got to be ready for this one, right? <laughs> oh yeah, this is well in my wheelhouse. Although some of these might be a little bit out of my budget, um, but yeah, they're really cool. And I am the Codfather Richard, and uh, I have been looking and shopping for basics over the past couple of weeks. Uh, so I, I'm very opinionated here, and I'm, I'm sure you guys will love my opinions on basic lands. Uh, before we get into it, though, today's show is brought to you by Ultimate Guard, premium protection for your trading cards. So all the gaming accessories we use on this channel are brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Uh, so check out ultimateguard.com, and you can be decked out like us. And also Card Conduit, the easiest way to sell your magic cards. Card Conduit lets you skip all the typing, time, and work associated with buy listing. Their curated service lets you send in as many cards as you want with buy list value of $1 more and you pay just a 5% service fee. You can use their sorted service where you list and sort your cards and pay only 2%. You get a detailed report and fast payment once your order is processed. Get 10% off by heading over to cardconduit.com slash mtggoldfish. So thank you for our sponsors. And it's time for the Ultimate Guard question of the week. Uh, it was a spicy episode last week where we went over uh, your rage quit and salt stories. And the uh, comment from Serial for Serious. Richard stabbing Krim in the back in a commander pod and saying, here's a life lesson, son, is going to be my favorite thing from now on. So I'm going to I'm going to have to use that. I'm going to it's, it, it's a one time joke. It's a one time gag. We got to time it correctly for the appropriate moment. Uh, and then we're going to stab him in the back and teach him about trusting other people. <laughs> as long as it's not me. Beautiful. All right. Let's let's get into our full art. Basic land tier list. But first, let, let's just go over our philosophy real quick. Uh, we we need to know. Do you play full art basics? Do you even play basics at all? Are you a mismatch land lover or all the lands must be the same type in your deck? Phil? Yeah, I got pretty strong opinions on my own basics. I appreciate everybody doing whatever they like. That is, that's how we play magic. But for me, it's old border with the mana symbol is pretty much the only basic that makes it into my decks. Um, that's an S and S plus if it's foil. Oh man, it's so bad. Foil, it's expensive, but my God, old border foil. M21 had pretty sick uh, basics, like a special version, especially the mountain and the island. I don't use them because I would use old border and I use all the same land art per deck, except for my Omnath deck where all of them are from Onslaught and Odyssey block because I want different old border foils just to flex. But all the same blocks, at least, and the other ones is always the same artwork. And I'm going to grade these cards like I'm having all the basics in my deck are these cards. That, that's how I feel about Lance. All right, Tomer, you play probably far too many basics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your opinion on basics? <laughs> the right amount, actually. Uh, I'm actually very similar to Phil, where I have a tendency to... if. If I have the option to, I'm almost always going to run old border foils, but the old, old ones, not like the new old border foils. Um, so I very much like Phil on that one, and those are sadly not going to be rated on this scale. However, I do pick some full art 
full uh, full art uh, lands based on the theme of my commander deck. So if I have a Theros commander, I'm going to be running the full art Theros lands from the original set. Uh, I like those quite a lot. Or if I'm like running a Zendikar commander, I'll write the run the full art Zendikar ones. But for the most part, if it's just like nothing really fits the theme in general, I'm going to go for the old border foils. But Richard, I know this is a that's a little bit different from from what your philosophy is because we try to stick things uniform. We pick like one art for a deck and we stick to it. But Richard, you're not like that. You're not like that basics. at all. Misma if I oh, have God. forty basics in my deck, it's forty different art types. I have a stack like this thick of fancy lands, so like all full arts, uh, varying degrees of foiling and all of that. Uh, so I've been using that. You can you can see on Commander Clash, but I've actually gone like full hipster. So Seth has corrupted me. Seth one day busted out gold bordered basics, and I'm like, that's a good idea. And then I I found this like really old Ixalan, like original Ixalan foil forest, and I played it on Clash, and Seth complimented it, and I'm like, you know, you're right. It is hot. <laughs> so I've actually started playing foil non-full art basics of like really good art like if you just like go through the sets okay. and then you, you see like oh, actually there, there's like some pretty cool art in here that no one ever plays uh and, and the thing i like most are colors like unique colors or like colors that really pop and we'll see that in the ratings today but yeah i i've gone full hipster i i'm, I'm on to like not even old border not even full art just like foil lands that nobody cares about because you never see them uh, so you know, there's a couple like that that I actually totally agree with that like they really blow me away. They're not old border. They're not full yeah. art. Like there was like uh, John Avon did a in the original Kamigawa block. He did a mountain and it looks stunning in full art in, in foil, and I, I absolutely love it. And there was also like an an Alara block. There's like an Esper Island. Oh right, that just looks yeah. gorgeous in foil. So like yeah, there's a lot of these that like they don't fit these nice little categories that everybody like always says like oh these are the best uh and it's kind of a shame honestly they're kind of like the unsung heroes but we're not going to be covering those yeah we'll, we'll, we'll need to do the yeah, hipster land podcast yeah hipster land. we have like 53 cycles of full art basics wizards <laughs> has been churning them out like no tomorrow so we're gonna breeze through them of course this is art this is totally subjective we're just going to rattle off our opinions uh let us know if you agree or disagree with them uh, but our rating scale today uh, is a simple one. A, great land. Like, happy to play it. B, average. You know, could sub it out, whatever. C, ugly. And then S, reserved for our, our absolute favorites. The, the, the bangers, chef's kiss. And uh, spoiler alert, Tomer and Phil were very sparing in their S's. <laughs> I, mean... I didn't see a single S anywhere. You got to save it for those retro foils, huh, Phil? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. So let, let's get into it. We're starting off with the OG unglued basics, uh, ranging from four to seven dollars with this weird frame. C for me, A for Phil, C for Tomer. Phil, you like these frames? It's the old board of full arts. I don't know. I have to appreciate it. It's, I mean, if somebody busts them out, it's pretty cool. Also, a flex like four to seven bucks gets a little expensive, especially in mono color. So, flexing is also part of my grating here that's why there's a lot of ace even though i would personally not i might play them the island is the artwork is pretty sick on an old border it, it looks old border i don't know it, it gets me in a way i don't like it's pretty cool the, the I, art I, is I nice but the frame is different. disgusting yeah it, yeah, yeah the frame is so disgusting. Ugly. <laughs> it kind of i i i only think to find it charming that they have a tap symbol on the top mm -hmm. like that's kind of cute in a way <laughs> it's not it's not something i want to look at afterwards but like i appreciate that they did it but i don't know it's like kind of muted colors i don't really like the art that much and the the frame is too big i don't know not for yeah. me frame too big all right we averaged this out to a b uh phil pulled it up <laughs> all yeah. right all right, I think this is everyone's vision of when we say full art lands. These are the OG unhinged John Avon lands, four to six dollars. Uh, they're also reprinted in double masters, I believe. So you can get them significantly cheaper if you just want the art. Another uh, A's across the board. Love Gold the frame, standard. love the art. Yeah, <laughs> this is like it's fine. 
this is like gold standard because the art is vibrant. Like the colors are vibrant and I really like that on my full arts. The frame is incredibly minimal, which also again, very much appreciate it. I love these arts so much that I actually have them at my apartment in France. I have the uh, canvases of it signed by John Avon as well, too. I spent way too much money on those. Ooh, yeah. Um, but yeah, they're they're very, very nice. I like them quite a lot. <laughs> I'll, I'll one-up you guys. I don't know if this is going to work. If I tilt my camera up. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, no, no, no. It's true. You can't see it. Oh, I got to move the other you camera out of the way. Though. Let's go. I got, I got oh, they're, the... They're prints. They're not even prints. My wife painted them. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, nice. oh my god, that is. Was that like a birthday gift? That's so cute. Yeah. So I, I, to me, this is this is wow. like peak art. And you know, LGSs have posters of them up and stuff wow. like that. The the colors are great. The everything's great about these. So S plus a. wife, by the way. <laughs> yeah. A. That's awesome. This, this was the last one. And, uh, she hasn't made any more full art land since I couldn't. Give, I'm like, there's only fifty, honey. You can do it. <laughs> 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 All right, Zendikar. Zendikar. We 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 thought the the land based plane should deserve some full arts. Thirty cents. The market does not care for these. Not even. Well, they were it expensive a before they. Tober gave it a B. Yeah. yeah, they used to be like a dollar or something at some yeah. point because this was like one of the only few full arts you could get. The frame's kind of disgusting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> they like the also frame. printed it a lot. Like they had fat packs and stuff that, yes. that were guaranteed to have these and stuff. So there was a there's a high supply of them. <laughs> I think I like them depending on which one. Like there's a swamp by Veronique something something that is one of my favorite swamps. It's not the one, not the John Avon one, but I, I absolutely love that one. Uh, but it's really it's really hit or miss for me. All right. Talking about flex, judge gift. Yeah. <laughs> 60 to $120. Uh, I gave it a C. Phil gave it an A if foil. Tover <laughs> gave it a C. Averaging out to flex. a B. I mean, they it's look so like dreary. <laughs> like it's yeah. so Innistrad esque or something, mm -hmm. right? I imagine the foils look pretty cool. That's why I mentioned A in foil. First of all, the flex is catastrophic if you <laughs> have the foil deck with these. <laughs> Ooh. But I imagine the white parts look pretty cool in foil. Uh, still not old butter. Kind of a basic frame. Still A for the flex, though. Oh my god. Is it a flex? I'm like, why did he spend this much money? <laughs> it is a good question, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, even know if that's a flex. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's like negative. I'm like, this person's flexing too that's hard. A, yeah, that's a here. negative flex. <laughs> oh, it's a panorama. All right. I think it's a panorama. Oh, that was a panorama? Okay. Battle for Zendikar, uh, twenty cents. There's some, there's some nice, nice colors here. But we gave a C's across the board. <laughs> I did these not. These are, I think these are very. I actually have like a a thick stack of these. I don't know why. Like they came in bundles as well, probably. Mm -hmm. But to me, this is interchangeable land. Like I, I have like tons of these. They're all over the place, and I don't find them special anymore. Although I do like the cup the colors on some of these. Isn't the Cup Island from this cycle? I think the the one with uh, no, uh, that was the original one. Oh, okay. I think these are the, the cup one, one is the original. Yeah, all of them are kind of basic though. That is right, Phil. Yeah, now they're basic. All basic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's done so much. And we're we're only some of these some of these sets have multiple cycles. We're just showing one cycle for <laughs> for brevity. Otherwise, we'd be here forever. Uh, but okay. So battle for Zenkar, No one cares about this. Almond cat. How about the bolus horns? Crim's not here. Uh, <laughs> C's all across the board. No, no one cares about the bolus horns. That... I would only run this if I had a bolus deck. But like, I just don't. I don't really care for the arts. I don't care about the bolus horns. Look, that, if that I was a bolus, not a mountain. Deck, that's just a city. <laughs> I know. This is just, they just added like a a color change mm -hmm. on temperature change on some of these, and we're like, all right, that's blue. I, I guess I remember when they were released. They were the uh, the first full arts where I stopped getting excited for them. Like after Zendika, then I think these were the next one. And I thought, oh, it seems like they're gonna do this every time now. And then these are just the, know, they're neat. The like, the only one that gets a pass is the planes. And if I'm playing approach at the second side. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, See, that, like that, there that could was... be reasons. Oh. 
All right. Okay. What if what if we just did the same thing, but it's more foreboding, an hour of devastation. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I like these less. Do, do you do you like these thematic lands where in the first set they have lands and then in the second set it's the same lands but the scenery has changed? So in this case, the cities are all destroyed and it's the same bulls, horns, and everything, right? It's the same spot, but the, the stuff is all destroyed now. Mm, I like it for flavor. I like it from a storytelling perspective, but like I wouldn't want to play them. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I can appreciate the lore that they're going with, you know, but I'm not going to put them in my decks. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go deep. the The sixth, the the fifth planes is the the Omnicat one. The sixth one is Hour of Devastation, and then you fare well. It's like that's what you, <laughs> you you got you got to tie in the flavor here. All right, C's across the board. Nobody cares about Bolas. Sorry, Krim. Sorry. Ooh. Unstable. Two to three dollars. Uh, Tom and I gave it an A. Phil gave it a B. That averages out to A. Unique frame. This is a this is a one off frame. We we don't have this frame anywhere else. I think they look oh. a little not enough like magic cards. The art is impeccable. Everything about them is great, but I feel like they look a little like custom cards too much. Like it's just a picture of a color, and bleh. they look beautiful. Phil, I need but... to introduce you to universes beyond. <laughs> yeah, this is twenty seventeen. <laughs> uh, this is borderless too. We this is the first it's borderless. True lands we've had to so i i really like them yeah. only two three dollars i like the colors okay. yeah. john avon is obviously the goat on drawing landscapes obviously uh i like the border is very minimal and i like the little i like even you know they have a little line at the end at the bottom that is matching the color of whatever the 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 thing taps for and i actually like that little accent mm -hmm. to it as well too i don't know everything i just kind of goes together well for me yeah i really like it but i see what i see what phil is saying they look like art cards you know the art cards it looks you different get? yeah kind of look like that they do have a rare stamp which helps but modern horizons enter the snowlands here so snowlands count right uh myself and tomer c phil with the shocking a yeah Damn. It is shocking. Even to myself, this was shocking. You like these ones? Uh, no. Uh, you I, like the art? No, but it's snow, and you have, don't really have too much wiggle room with Ice Snowland. Age. Ice yes, Age. but Ice Age have the tap, doesn't have the tap symbol, and I do like the just the color I like symbol. the cold snap the most. Uh, but... Nah, they have new border, yeah. though. I don't know. I feel like full art over... This is a new, new, new border, border so, though. Isn't this the new width these, border? Uh, the second coolest, I guess both of them are eight here, but the other one is a bigger flex. These are the best snow covered for me, even though in the end I'd probably use the old border ones. What can I say? I'm a sucker for old border. It's... These are these are. So... I kind of like the island the most, but like I don't know. And also the island and the mountain look like the exact same. <laughs> they, they all look the same. There's just like a, yeah. a an iceberg pillar. looking thing there, a pillar, and then like. I mean, it's I snow. I, I prefer more trees or something, or more mountains in my in my in my snow covered lands. Uh, good I thing for you, for deleting these are, cheap. These are only a dollar lands. two a piece, so you can <laughs> you can go nuts with these. Pharaohs oh, beyond yeah. death. The, the 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 first appearance of the Pokemon lands. A's <laughs> across the board. Perfect. Hey, Phil, <laughs> you like these? They don't look like regular. No, Magic but I have to appreciate, so, right? first of all, the fact if you play a Theros God or like anything Constellation, these are pretty flavorful. And they just fit into a new niche of lands, like showing the the symbol in the art is kind of clever. They look good. I mean, I don't play them. I just play Old Border, but they, they do have a pretty <laughs> big purpose. I run them in my Theros decks. Like, I have a Perforous Bronze-Blooded Commander. It runs just all the Theros Mountains. I used to have a Sayona uh, deck. It ran uh, the Plains and Forests. Like, I don't know. I, I still love them to this day. Richard, you like them too. Do you run them in any decks? I mean, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> part of my fancy land set. Uh, just but uh, one. I, I just, just one. <laughs> just one. Yeah, just one. Because no. there's so many cool lands to showcase, right? No. But I, I like the clarity of these right none of this like what is that land you have over there you're just like look it's a giant red card with a giant red yeah. mana symbol it, it's a mountain i get it so i really like that i like using these for um counting mana 
So like if you're storming off or whatever and you like put the dice on it or you put the die on it. So I, I really oh, like these. Oh, that's clever. I have Just other having them on the this, side. But, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. cute. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. I think if they started that's a good idea. making magic now, these would these are more intuitive as mana producing things. Like lands are this kind of obtuse concept that we use of like, oh, of course this place. But this looks like something that produces the ethereal force of mana. I don't know. They seem very intuitive. So this, this is a flavor fail though, no? I thought I thought mana comes from the land or something. Sure, You're supposed sure. to absorb it or something, right? This is just more I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, what, what is this coming from the skies? Mix. You know? The the cloud it's, is this just is like the platonic like ideal of <laughs> planes or whatever, right? Like this is what what the the mana looks like in the realm of Nyx. Yeah. I I love it still. Regardless, A, we love it. A. All right. Unsanctioned. What do we feel about these frames? I think they're disgusting. I gave it a C. <laughs> Phil gave it a B. Tover gave it an A. Tover loves these frames. Do you like the frame I, or do you like the art? I like the art. It's kind of both. I like the art a lot. The frame, I think it actually, I, I think I've seen a couple in person and I like just the gold popping out. Uh, How is it gold for you? But... Oh, is it gold for? Oh, I got to see these in person. So a lot of these no, I don't have a different they... appeal if you see them in person versus on the screen. So I haven't seen these in person. Maybe I'll like them in person if that's gold. Remember when apps had oh, cool color. these kinds of shadows in their logos? I think these need a flat design overwork, and I would like them. I, I, it feels so... I mean, they are kind of old at this point. I don't know which date, but they do seem like this area where the icon for the camera app was a super shaded out camera. Like, there's three light points just on... It is a little too, too much. I would like a little bit more minimalistic. The art is sick. That's why I kind of want to salvage them. But they, I don't know. A little unclean. I, mean, I, I wouldn't mind putting it out there. Sick. I don't know about... Like, why why does the tree looks... look like it's polygons in forest? <laughs> like, why does it look like uh, something like... That's the plane. I don't know. What plane is this? I don't, know. This is I don't even know. <laughs> Unvisit plane yet. Why, why does my mountain look like Swiss cheese? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla lands. $12 to $20. Secret lair. Uh, Phil and myself gave it an A. Tomer gave it a B. We're going to see this often with a lot of these themed sets. One land usually is a lot more expensive than the other. And in this case, because it's Godzilla, green. The green one is $20. <laughs> The other one has Mothra on it as well. Yeah. That. Shouldn't that? Be? This is really good. There's one that has oh, a pterodactyl or something. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's the. I didn't, I didn't even notice the Mothra up there because it's in the top left of the planes. But the mountain, yeah. I think, looks. Really, it, you want a snow covered mountain? This is it. They should have made this snow covered. <laughs> I mean, none of us can. Like, we're. It, it's not in English, so you could just say it's snow covered. It's fine. <laughs> good point. <laughs> I don't know. How you could do that. I don't know about that. <laughs> Sick. If you play a Godzilla deck, uh, I would feel pressured into buying these and it would get very expensive. I might have to cut on basics for budget. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. If you're in a Godzilla deck, but I don't know. Outside of it, I don't really care. Well, you don't play this outside of it? I, I would play that mountain in no. any deck. I, I like the forest too. The island is kind of meh. The swamp kind of sucks. The I prefer the meh, island. But the, the gruel it, lands are like great. Uh, there's too much solar flare going on yeah you're right I, I noticed I, I can't, I can't but tell that it's blue Yeah. Good. although it's Godzilla coming out of the ocean is a, yeah it's an ocean is a classic. it's pretty blue yeah. alright so double masters of uh, reprinted cards new frame uh, different set symbol uh, but if you if you want car, you know if you want the originals on the cheap here you go uh, so these are the original John Avens uh, I gave it an A uh, Phil and Tomer gave it a B. I like, you guys are this. knocking it for the new frame. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, just because it's not the original. Like you only have one kind of basic to run in a deck, and I, I'm at a point where I have to show out the money for the original. This, this is a practical. <laughs> I on getting like the off-brand cereal or whatever at the grocery yeah. store to save a couple bucks. It's like. 90% the same. Yeah, okay. but if it's the it's only cereal you eat, you kind of want the tastiest one, right? I don't know. Right? It's just my <laughs> me thing. <laughs> so I double masters. Yeah. I think it does look worse, but does it yeah. look like 
four dollars worse. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zendikar Rising. Wow. C's across the board. Ugh, I don't like any of these. I guess. It's so disappointing because I really did like the original arts, but then afterwards, I don't know. I just stopped. Yeah, I can't even say. I, maybe it's oversaturation at this point. There's just so many uh, different takes on the same thing that it's just like you stop caring. Oh, with the Zendika arts as well, right? Because of yeah. these flying things and hedrons, it's always yeah, they, super they don't busy. They depict the thing. It's like the mountain is just some shards of rocks or something. Yeah, right, the island yeah. is a waterfall. And the swamp. Like, uh, the forest is like trees floating or something. Like, like they should just show me a forest or show me a mountain. Nah, so I, I don't I'm like okay the ones that, that. Don't depict. I'm okay with it being abstract. Like, like you look at the mountain and like, okay, yeah, it's not an actual mountain, but you know, it's a red, it's a red basic. Like, there's a lot of red in there. It's because it's red. Mountains. They made it green. Spikes. You'd be very confused. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't make it green. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about the swamp that looks kind of greenish yellow here? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't like that swamp that much. All right. Well, Zendikar Rising, C. All right. Uh... Secret Lair Seb McKinnon came with a single mm. swamp. A single swamp. If Here's you, the swamp. Oh, you had the, like a the mono black deck, and this is the only swamp in it. The flex. It's insane. It's, not, it's, it a, also it's only like four dollars, four to five dollars for this. It's not it's not oh, terrible. Twenty six well, like how, especially in mono black, you need that Kabal Koffer swamp energy. So <laughs> Oh my god, they look pretty sick. I the frame could be better. But uh, oh, they look gritty and dark and fit the more. Bill black gave it game. an A, Tomer B, myself C. Richard, you're not a fan of these. I, uh, it looks like a tree with a guy on it. Like it's, it's like yes, it's black, but it's not very swampy to me. It's like nothing particularly special about it. I wasn't he in a swamp. It is very swampy. I mean, he is. <laughs> if you but ask me. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Like if this if this was like a a fifty center, I would put it in my collection but for five bucks i'm like eh, eh it's okay I, I like it too but i don't know there's just so many more swamps that i like more that i had to give it a b like i'm not gonna give everything an a or else a doesn't mean really mean anything yeah uh, i guess if you're a knight deck or something a human deck or something yeah. <laughs> there's a person on your in your in your swamp brutal basic oh, land no. secret layer uh you like abstract symbol thingies I like colors, though. C for me and Phil. Tomer just went off the scale here with an F. Oh, you can give it an uh, F. So it's an F for me, too. Fits all of the what? black That's and white so things, bad. except for one. Is okay, the only thing I... The, the thing I really value about basic lands is they should have the prominent color <laughs> of whatever they tap for. Like, that should be the that should be the bar, right? And these are just black and white. Like, you have a bunch of these... On the on your battlefield, I have no idea what the heck type of mana you can you have access the, the, to. The, the frame, the assume... border thing, is in the right color. <laughs> There's even oh, a symbol yeah. on there, but it kind of doesn't help in practice. Like I liked them in the beginning, uh, not like them, not like I would think of playing them. But when I saw them in person, I thought, yeah, these are kind of hard to distinguish. They look cool as sleeves on arena, I guess. <laughs> So, so the market agrees with you because these lands are like four bucks, and then the swamp is eighteen. Yeah, <laughs> because, because you know it actually Only one matches. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it matches what it's supposed to be. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not digging this. This doesn't have the same appeal as the Theros lands. They're, they're dark, uh, like they're literally black. But then also like they're very dark. Like there's a skull in every single one, which makes me think swamp, even though it's a forest. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. It's just weird. Uh, and they're expensive, so eh. Uh, eh. Speaking, Sam. Speaking of not matching <laughs> colors, Midnight Hunt. Uh, all the cards are black and white, but they they kind of clearly depict what they're supposed to be. Uh, C for Phil and I. Tover with the F F minus. Wow, we we yeah, that's an F for me too. Further. Honestly, if you can give an F, hey. Like they didn't even they didn't even draw these in black and white, right? These were just like crappily grayscaled very quickly. Like somebody went and threw it in well, Photoshop. They pressed one button. Are you sure? Yeah, about I'm not that? sure. <laughs> I'm, Wasn't this like the double feature? 
Wasn't this like the double feature nonsense ones where they were just like, here's the same card, but they're oh, and black they, and white, the grayscale. But shouldn't we have seen oh, these, these were actual then? ones? If we review all full arts, we should probably... Maybe they didn't have use you, them in... There, there's some double... Yeah, there, there, there's Crimson Vow as well. Uh, we're we're uh, familiar with this because this is one of Crim's favorite basics. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, he loves God, playing these dark so ones much. to troll everyone. Uh, I actually have these as well. I, I mix them in. It, it's kind of cool, but not really. <laughs> you might as like well they just throw the they... oddball planes in your mono white deck just because, right? <laughs> they don't even look like, like you look at that and you're like, tell me that's a plane. I guess like, the planes is fine. When you look across the table white. and somebody puts a black and white card and they say, I play planes, and you're like, are you sure? I mean, they do. <laughs> planes is fine. But we got a better example of this in an upcoming one. All right. <clears throat> Crimson Vow. Let's run it back, boys. Uh, oh, <laughs> same thing in God. Crimson Vow. Uh, C's and F's across the board. You know what? That forest looks looks like a banger, actually. <laughs> I, I like that forest. Uh, everything else looks kind of meh. Okay, what, what if I just rebranded it? I called it, like, Manga Forest. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Huh? Nope. Huh? Berserk here. <laughs> I can see this being like a berserk forest. We can appreciate black and white. You know, you want retro? Let's go like super vintage before color was invented, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no go on these lands that don't kind of represent the colors. They're not Except the right color. Well, no, whatever. Oh my! Wait, what is this? Yeah, Have you seen them? I had to Google was? them. I had to Google them. To I've never like even heard paper. of these before. Uh, I haven't seen them in so I've, I've seen them in person but i don't remember because i didn't analyze them but they are like kind of just like foil etched kind of like to the max uh that sounds even worse mm -hmm. <laughs> they look disgusting it's, it's oh like God. this one but fancier that's all <laughs> More expensive. it's a fancier when you put foil etch like the worst type of foil on and you're like good <laughs> yeah so it's a, <laughs> we made it worse it's a c for me just like the other ones I gotta give I feel it a bad flex for A for the planes. Like, first of all, only mono color. If you play mono white and use this planes, that's a good flex. Gotta give that to you. It is pretty cool, but just for the flex. It's, it's the same art it's as the, the older ones. It's mm -hmm. the same art. <clears throat> just, yeah, but, but at least the flex other better. ones, at least they made an attempt, right? Like, the, the border is like the appropriate color. So like if you play the island, it's black and white, but the border is blue. This one, they're just like, nah, nah, just figure it out yourself. Hope for the best. No, no it's all I gave it a B just for uniqueness. <laughs> I gave it a B for uniqueness. <laughs> it's probably looks, the app. It's very worst. unique. I, I, uh, I would put this at the lowest rating possible. 13 to $26. <laughs> these are not cheap at all. 13 to $26. Where did you even get these? Good. Moonlit foils? Uh, probably collector boosters. <laughs> no idea. Oh. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Secret Lair Mischief. <laughs> it's a planes for $5, but it's actually a golf course. And it's like I'm a... I'm actually surprised that you're rating. Right? Can't so you just fill it, it off? A... Tover, be... what, you can peel this off? I think what? you could peel this off and it's a yep. Battlefield Forge or something. I mean, it's a gimmick. Wait, it's a mischief product. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this is a sticker, pretty much. <laughs> it's uh, the flex, A, if you have all of them. like You can only play them in mono color oh, because yeah. you're not going to mix those with real basics. So again, mono white, all of these. Wait, why can't red. you mix these with real basics? <laughs> I mean, come on. We are civilized people over here. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah, are so ugly that I gave it an A. Crazy. It's so <laughs> ugly that it's like transcended. And I'm like, wow, I got to play this to yeah. confuse no, everyone. I'd give this like a C. I'd give it even maybe a D. Like, I don't want a golf course. On my, on my, <laughs> but my that's so funny. <laughs> and the frame, like I don't know what's up with the red. frame. It's like red for some reason. It like has jewels oh, on boy. it. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I, oh, I'm down boy. for it. Would you remove the sticker? And do what though? Have a battle. It's another card. I think. It's, Why would I do that? It's no, it's like a it's like a battlefield forge or something. Yeah, I don't something know. Like Why would I do that? Like this feeling. is I bought it for this. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> also, battlefield forge. If it's that card behind it, there's an old border version in it. So that's it's an easy easy pick for this artwork. <laughs> there's also old border. Plans. All right. Oh. Secret layer pixel snowlands.jpg. 
Uh, Phil with the C, Tomer with the B. I gave it an S. <laughs> wow! So this is your this is your jam. You you don't like look look at that pixel swap. Look at that pixel swap. Now, of course, it doesn't cool. say snow covered in any way here, but it's still very cool. <laughs> the Windows yeah. XP or whatever task bar thing. Need touch. Doesn't look. It looks like a proxy to me. I don't know. I like classic old board, and this is the furthest away <laughs> from this. You youngins. <laughs> Windows 3.1. Put some respect to that. <laughs> yeah, it's... I, I like the, the old school vibe of it. I like the art, but I don't know. I just don't see myself actually running it that much. I, I like the Swamp Forest. and Mountain's okay. The, the island and the plains are kind of sus. Uh, but I, I really like the uniqueness. Like, you know, well, they made more of these, so there's, there's more pixels. But outside of this, this is a very unique frame. Uh... Seven to seventeen dollars, by the way. So, uh, yeah, if you if you're playing Scred Red, uh, nice flex, yeah. Be prepared to fork out there. <laughs> All right, yeah. Dracula Lands. So this is a secret layer, three to nineteen dollars. Uh, you could probably guess that the swamp is the nineteen dollar one. Uh, Phil and I gave it an A. Tomer gave it a B. It's lands with Dracula depicted on them. Same as Godzilla, right? It's yeah. Like, if you're in a vampire deck, I could definitely see yeah, it. Yeah, the Swamp is badass. Or oh, a demon deck for this one. Yeah. What, Look pretty what, sick. What? Does Dracula have wings? <laughs> like, what is that on the Swamp? It, I don't know what form, yeah, right? I'm sure. I don't know. But there, there was, like, some like bad like movie that came out. <laughs> is that a there coffin? There a bad movie that came out where he's, like, on a, he's like on a boat, and then he starts eating people. He has wings there. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. That that is a coffin. Nosferatu or something. Down with Dracula. Yeah, they're pretty dope, but they're very. I don't know. That mountain looks suspicious. <laughs> that, that mountain barely looks like a mountain. Well, he's villain monologuing, so. Well, actually, the cool. plains also does not depict the plains at yeah. all. It has. Neither does, does it have well, actually, scary None of these the depict anything. <laughs> Wait, the mountain? No, there's mountains in the background. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count if yeah. you are the foreground and the focus and there's some mountains in the background? Does that really count? I think that's fine. Okay. Well, the swamp doesn't depict the swamp. It's like a cathedral. I know that's what I'm saying. It's actually not a very good swamp. It's just a cool, it's just cool art that's <laughs> Yeah, black. it could be a creature. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Richard, is a is a boat an island? No, but there's a water Wait, at least. Technically. That, that could be. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, I don't actually know. If the so boat is big enough. <laughs> land. Yeah, you, you would just show land if it was an island, right? But they always depict, like, the ocean. That, that's not an island, guys, but <laughs> I don't know. That's how we do it. Uh, okay, Secret Lair Zodiac. These are 5 to $22. Tomer with the C, Phil with the B, myself with the A. These are weird. I just, I don't <laughs> like these, like, the, these colors. They feel like... They feel like when I was like fifteen and I had like neon art on the on the walls and stuff with, for black lights. Like that's the vibe. And then I grew out of it and I found it icky. And that's that's how a lot of secret layers have like this sort of style now where it's like these vibrant neon y colors and I yep. just don't they just none of them none of them work for me at all. So I just kind of like they I'm sure a lot of people love these. They just don't work for me at all. Psychedelic y. Yeah, also Man. They look like duels. Like the, I know they can't reprint it, but the the island looks like it should be a volcanic island, pretty clearly. Ooh. Then it would make sense. I I don't like if the ah. color match the thing, and they kind of did. We, we just have to break the reserve yep. list finally, and we'll do it with <laughs> these just artwork. Take a mark and to put a volcanic <laughs> proxy over it. The plains looks like a plateau. I could see a plateau. Yeah, yeah for duels, these artworks would be kind of cool. The forest looks like whatever the gruel. What, what's the gruel duel called? I don't even know. Taiga. 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 Is it Taiga? God. Okay. I how hope do you, so. How do you pronounce so Taiga? The, the swamp is pretty cool. The swamp has scorpions in it. Sure. Where right. you really like them? Though? Shades not included secret lair. Now, Tomer, I'm shocked because I know you have some of these. You put it out as a B, fill with the C. I'm, I'm coming in with the S. I'm coming in with the S here for these. Wow. So 
I actually don't own these, Richard. And that's why I put them at B, because I have a better version of these. So the person who made them, Ben, uh, he originally made proxies. Like, he, he made a bunch of proxies, and he sold basic lane proxies. And... <coughs> And Wizards of the Coast liked them so much that he, they commissioned him to do real versions, real Magic the Gathering versions of them as a secret lair. So I bought the originals before he became a Magic the Gathering artist and, and made the secret lair. And I think the originals are even better. What's so the that's difference why. between the original and, and these Like versions? I think the mountain looks more like the, I don't know, there was like, wasn't there like an 80s computer or something? I, I'm pretty sure like my dad had something like that where... <laughs> the mountain looked just better. I think this artwork all looked a little bit better, but maybe it was more copyrighty, so they asked him to change it. I mean, but, yeah. I don't Phil, know. Like not a fan of giant me, huh? discs in the sky portraying the colors. I don't. I don't like it when he went mainstream, man. I don't like it when he went mainstream. I liked him before he was cool. It's just not my style. <laughs> I guess if you play a neon Kamigawa themed deck, these are. Uh... Good, but that's for pre-release, I guess. And these are not for my commander decks. I, yeah. So, so seven, eight dollars. My only knock is the island is very purpley. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I wish it was a little more blue to distinguish it from the swap. But the, the plains is hot. I like the plains, and it, it actually matches because the rest of it don't don't really match. Like, like you can barely tell it's a forest. Uh, you can barely tell it's an island or a swamp, but the plains, you're like, yes, it looks kind of like a I like plain. the mountain. I like the, the mountain plains. is obviously a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, seven to nine dollars. Seven to nine dollars for shades not included. All right. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, the, the Japanese land. So these don't even tell you what they are because they're written in Japanese. A uh, dollar fifty to two fifty a piece. A's across the board. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, we we like what is, what is this art style called? Like the the traditional Japanese art style, whatever this is called. That that's what they're they're painted in. There's one thing. The colors are very nice, except for the colors on the very green island. That I don't get why they had to. show. There's more forests on this island than more. Than <laughs> like, why? Yeah, there's a waterfall, but like, yeah, it's you know, it, I wish it was a little bit more blue. But it's it, the card is still very blue, though. It, it's yeah, still, I, I guess, but come it's on. not as confusing as some of the other stuff. The mountain also, has had a, a dragon in the background. You, oh, you yeah. see that? Yeah, that's that's, that's kind of cool. So I I, I run um all. The, the swamp that we're showing right now uh, is the one that I run in my Tashiro deck because it's a Kamigawa commander and I wanted to make sure I match. I always match like the commander with the 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 plane. Um, so I went full for that. And I remember having big fights with people because everybody was raving about not this version, but the other version, the which is one. like these big, it's like an alleyway and it's more neon dynasty, uh, like futuristic. And they have these like big red lamps and people are like, oh my God, those are so much better. But I was like, no, because those look like red lands because it's all freaking red. So it looks like a bad land, not like an actual swamp. <laughs> And then eventually I got people to come around to it. Like Daniel Holt, he also has a Toshiro deck. And he was like, actually, you were right. These are these are the superior ones. So yeah, I win. You guys are all wrong. You need to be mismatching your lands. <laughs> uh, Secret Lair, Magli Villeneuve. There's some special forests in here. Uh, one forest came in the Secret Lair. And then another one was the, the, the special card, the secret card, I believe. Uh, I gave it a C. Twelver gave it a B. Phil gave it an A. The flex, <laughs> gotta give it to the flex. They These are five good. to nine dollars. It's not that big of a flex, but if you, I, I always think about more. I mean, you kind of have to go monocolor with these kinds of decks, uh, with these kinds of basic, because you can't really combine them with other ones. I do have the same frame as other ones, but if you mismatch, one. you can enjoy yeah. everything, Phil. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this one is beautiful, though. The one with the butterfly. The other one has the black and white problem. Uh, so the colored one, I would say, nice flex. Yes. It looks like a clue token. <laughs> it's yeah. basically like a, a relief sculpture or something, right? Like a relief mural uh, depicting a forest. Uh, but it's not very foresty to me. So even though I like her art normally, I, th these lands don't do it for me. I, I'm not willing to fork over five to nine dollars for this. 
Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't put it over an A. Like, it's not super forcey, but I love the art. All right. Uh, Secret Lair Heads I Win. Uh, this was the uh, coin flip deck. Uh, the the is it deck. So there's only island and mountain in it. These go for twenty dollars to twenty two dollars a piece. Uh, I don't know how many basics come in that <laughs> come in that deck, but uh, you probably did very well. Maybe the all the values in these basics actually. Uh, Maybe it was like a super like a bonus card or something. Yeah, I can't imagine that. But then what, all, yeah. what were the other basics? Just normal basics. Yeah, probably it's wizards. <laughs> <laughs> uh Tober with the B, Phil and I with the A. Super The unique. island is weird. And it's a little green. Yeah. But the but the mountain. Oh, I I, I love this mountain. The the color on this mountain looks really That's good. Cool. And it is like a coin shooting a coin. out. Yeah, yeah, it, why is the coin so well. big though? It's the size of the mountain. <laughs> what am I missing here? Perspective? <laughs> it kind of looks like it almost looks like the mountain is like flicking it up like if mm -hmm. you see like it's like flicking up the coin a little bit i don't know i mean maybe it's just me it shows oh, the lava yeah. flicking like, around the coin yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 and then the island is obviously he's holding a coin too so i don't know it's very it's very if i was in a coin flip oh, deck this is the I, didn't one even, I, I thought those were crab legs for some reason i <laughs> know <laughs> it's his hand yeah that's a that's a that's a hand and there's a skull back there yeah. This seems like bad luck. I would run in a coin flip deck for <laughs> sure. This is like some guy died flipping coins because his boom pile didn't go off, and then the one <laughs> going into Mount Doom over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty to twenty-two dollars. I think this is uh the flexiest <laughs> one of the flexiest uh, basics you can choose. Uh, they're also yeah. foil, right? These are foil as well by default. Uh... Streets of New Capenna. How do you guys feel about cityscapes being portrayed <laughs> as uh, as lands? Uh, I was so hyped for this set, but then a lot of the art came out and I didn't wasn't as hyped anymore. I don't know. I was very I really like the idea of what was it the neo? Ah, uh, I forget even what it was called. The so the art style at that time was no. very was very intriguing to me, but. Um, yeah, some of these I like, some of these I don't like. Like, I don't like that swamp, for example. If they're too dark, then I don't appreciate them. I think that's my main thing. I think the art by itself looks cool. The mountain is a little busy. But I wouldn't put the it on very my busy. lands. The frame is kind of cool. Like, a mixture of the old full art frame and the breaking the border a little more. But the artwork is just too... I don't know. I wouldn't put it on my lands. They look beautiful, especially the forest. Yeah, seas across the board. Yeah. I don't know. They, like the the art is fine, but they don't really depict the land itself. Like the mountain is actually a skyscraper. You're like, what? <laughs> but uh, twenty five cents to a dollar. So somebody wants these. Um, speaking of cityscapes. Turns out we're, we're hypocrites because here's Tokyo. <laughs> Secret <laughs> Lair Tokyo. Uh, Tober at a B. Myself and Phil at A. These are 7 to $12 and they depict various places in Tokyo in a stylistic manner. Cute. Uh, the planes. Does, I don't know what that's got to do with the planes, but it's Shibuya. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks very cool, right? The mountain is very red. The green is very green. Oh, the forest is very green. The forest oh, the is swamp the coolest is one. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. 7 to 12 like dollars the... cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. I like the island, the mountain, the forest. Shibuya is cool, but I just don't see how it's plains. And then the swamp is like also cool, but I don't see how it's a swamp. And it's but it, it, it's so cool that I'll just play it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so like, like, you know, like, if, it, if it's cool enough, I, I can break my rule of it yeah. not looking like the thing. Um, how about Fortnite? Speaking of cool kids, uh, 5 to $12. Tober at the B, Phil and I at the A. These are actually some of my favorite full arts uh, because of the color. The color is, like, super vibrant 
I've never played Fortnite. I don't know yeah, what's going Fortnite. on here. It's the but... same. I was gonna ask. <laughs> I've cut. It's the same. It's the same cartoony stylistic thing going on, right? It's also places on the map. Like I haven't played Fortnite in a while now, but I will always <laughs> say that is it was probably the game with the best gameplay. I've it's just it with all. Oh, mm, mm. it, it, is there just, only one so map? Good. Like do you know, well, all it these constantly places everyone changes all these places, but whenever I start up the game, it has changed for the better. Sometimes they go way back, and then that's better because you get nostalgic. But I would actually like them. The only problem is Universe is Beyond Frame. I didn't even see this because I was so stunned by the colors. But now that I take a closer look, I really don't like that Universe is Beyond Frame, like this metal-like Wait, thing. And You're talking about tri- the triangle instead the of the... The triangle is, is a that- little weird, and the... Like having this metal texture over Swamp Island and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, the me, the oh my, yeah, the metal texture to like the forest it. and the basic forest. Uh, thingy. It looked fine for Space Marines, uh-huh. but then in Lord of the Rings, I thought, well, these aren't future soldiers. Do you though, think they right? made them for 40k? And... I think no, it's so before. I think they... did they have it for The Walking Dead? No, I think they invented it later on. No, I think they made uh, it for forty k. That's why I was so shocked when they yeah. did it. The same thing for like the well, what shape? What, there's only so many shapes, Phil. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not, what a I just, I'm just <laughs> a the square? shape is fine, but I don't like the texture. Like, why would Lord of the Rings uh, have this metal texture? It was kind of like a yeah, a bit lazy. And then Fortnite, I guess. Yeah, the art is super sick though. It's super sick, except for the swamp. The swamp is too no, green the swamp for my taste. Awesome. But the I other like four. the island. Is that yeah, sloppy the swamps? I also don't want to play Fortnite. <laughs> based I want to borrow you. You're Fortnite not, again. You're not going to get this. me to do it. <laughs> oh, I got to do it. All right. Dominaria. Uh, throwback to the Theros lands. These are stained glass Pokemon lands, I guess. Just like the giant mana symbol mm-hmm. in the middle. Only a dollar a piece. Very affordable. Uh, Phil and Tomer with the A. I gave it an S. I think these are. I think these are even better than Theros. I think they're cleaner <laughs> than Theros, actually. Mm. Uh, but they, they're very clear what they are. They're they're unique looking. Like no other land looks like them. The colors are nice. The you get foil, the foil. My God. Oh, so good. I used them. So good. Uh, amazing. So I play an Omnath deck, the four color one that produces four mana with its ability, and I used these when I. When the ability triggers, I get one of each except the black one. And then I use dice because there's going to be more color in my mana pool. But uh, <laughs> these are very uh-huh. clear and intuitive. Just like the Theros ones, I prefer these because they look crazy in foil. And I got I like them both. <laughs> yeah. How about Unfinity? So, so every time we have an unset, we got to make fancy full arts to make sure people actually buy them. Uh, these are only a dollar as well. Tomer with the B, Phil with the A, and I gave it the S. These are actually my current favorites. Uh, I think wow, the the picture doesn't do it justice. Uh, these are my favorites of like the the affordable lands, like you know a dollar or less. Uh, but like the mountain, like pops pops so hard in real life. Uh, it's like a lot more vibrant than uh these scans. But I like I like the galaxy frame thing like the i don't know what you call it the electrons going around the the mana symbols the the borderless aspect and the art the art colors are very good i actually like the planets more than the like uh ground arts for most of these i put the planets in my um myra infinity attraction deck which is very fun also, galaxy foils. I don't know if the basics come in galaxy. Fo- they do. They do, right? Probably. The galaxy foils on like these galaxy uh, arts are kind of top tier. I think like those ac- actually look super cool. Maybe I need to bump it to an A. I'll bump it to an A. <laughs> uh, all right. Brothers War. So the theme of Brother War of Brothers War is I don't even know what these are like giant giant mecha. Chirokai's in the background, <laughs> constructs. I, I don't know what it is, but they're they're in every single piece of art. Uh, fifty cents a piece. Tomer with the B, Phil and I with the C's. Okay, so 
all of these, I don't know. I was kind of unimpressed when I actually got them, even though I have like a, I have a Mech Titan deck and I have like a robot deck and I thought like these would fit very well. A lot of these I'm kind of like, eh, when I got them in person. However, if you haven't seen it in person, check out the planes in foil. There's something weird about the foiling process of the planes one where the robot looks like it wasn't inked or something just in the foil and it looks like it's like left out. So there's like a weird silhouette that's like foily in it. It looks really dope. It looks really cool. I would highly recommend looking it up. It looks so cool. That sounds cool, actually. The other ones like whatever. I got it. I actually I think I have a foil planes here. The, these always get cut. Like, I, I always put them in the pile of lands I might play, but then I always cut them at the end. <laughs> the mecha plane? You don't like them? Eh, the mecha plane is fine, but the island usually gets cut. Uh, the forest I yeah, would the never island, play. Man. The mountain I would never play. The swamp is okay. Uh, kind of like, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I like the, the wub lands for this one. Mm. But I'll, I'll check out that foil because I, I think I actually bought some foil Brothers Wars lands. It looks super weird. I like it. All right, Transformers. B for Tomer and I, Phil with the A. These are seven to eleven dollars, depicting Cybertron. One would say he. I don't know what this is actually. You guys like this? I actually had to give it a B out of respect for Transformers, but I think I hate them. Yeah, I think these should be like a C or something. I always play them because I have this one, but I'm like, I don't know, man. These lands kind of suck. You can't even tell they're Transformers. Uh, uh, Phil likes them. Yeah, they, I mean, I like them. I just had to be uh, consistent and gave them the same grade as the Godzilla ones, but I do maybe I grade them down to B because of the Universe Beyond frame. Uh, I prefer this, like, like a, a like a little transformer touch to here's Optimus Prime, but it's actually a land. So, like I prefer it being way in the background, so at least it looks like a land. The Dracula ones were kind of on the edge there. As soon as there's a like a person or something as the key art art thing in the art, that gets a little tricky. Doesn't really look like a land anymore. So these look like lands. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bump it down to B for the frame, I guess. The mountain sticks out to me for the exact opposite of what Phil said. Because <laughs> the mountain is a mountain of dead uh, Autobots or something here. I don't, I don't know what they are, but like it's just a bunch of very clearly Transformers looking things. But they're not in full. The rest right? of the lands, you can't barely tell. Like in the forest, Grimlock is hiding in the corner. If you look very carefully, bottom right. Uh, the island, some jet is being shot at. The planes has Optimus like driving in the far distance. Like it's all very subtle, and I, I don't. It's too subtle for me. And it, on top of that, it doesn't look like a planes or a forest at all, right? It's it's Cybertron's forest or whatever. So it's kind of. I like that it's subtle though, because like the focus is supposed to be on the landscape, not the robots. It works with the junkyard but... because there's nothing in the center or something. Like there is a big transformer, but it's clearly yeah. part of the environment, not the key visual. Seven to eleven dollars. Uh okay. Secret layer Kozenden. Uh I don't know how to describe this art style. Other than we think it looks really cool. We all yeah, gave it an A. Super vibrant. <laughs> Eight to twenty-three dollars though. Eight to twenty-three dollars. Wow. That planes is hot. I don't know. Something about that the color, the the style. Like I really like that planes. Yeah, I like all of these. They're all pretty sick. And they also all look like what basic they're supposed to be. And I appreciate that. Uh and yeah, I like the art style too. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. This may be one of the very few depictions of island being an island. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a mass of land in the ocean <laughs> as opposed to like just some random water. I uh, mean, but I, I appreciate the, the sea monster there. So if you're a sea monster tribal yeah. <laughs> person, uh, that, that one seems good. There's All dozens right, of us. Yeah. Wow. All right, Die. Phil, yeah. you must be very impressed with this because these judge gifts from 2023... 25 to 75 dollars a pop uh what judge academy foils phil not impressed by your wallet gave it a c tober and i gave it a b is that a different foiling feel... process what what's happened there in the scans 
I don't like I un- no irregular idea. foils. Uh, there's two things about this. First of all, if it's a different foil, even the Galaxy foil I don't like. As soon as the foil distracts from the art, search for it as well. I want the art to be foil, not like a foil layer over there. But that's up to whoever wants the foils. I don't like this frame. This with the mana symbol on the side, and then there's a why imbalance it? It it, it feels so, yeah, unbalanced. There's mm-hmm. some variants with this frame that actually got up to an A, but they usually start at C. And even though this is a back flex, if you spend this much mana, uh, money on your mana base, you can flex better than this. I do like the owls in the art. I guess it makes sense for judge foils, but eh. Not worth it. I I need to see these in person because I believe they will look Mm -hmm. a million times better in person. I need to get one of each for my birds deck. Uh, Yeah. Can you guys find the owl in the island? Where's the owl? I can't find it. It's drinking. It's drinking at the bottom in the center, bottom center. It's drinking from the river. Oh, so it's I see like it stooped yeah, over. It, it, uh, I thought that was a rock. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I see it now. But the the yeah. plains is by far the best one. Out of, out of all. I just remember I the controversy the when these were, were announced, where it's like, yeah, thank you, judges, for all your hard work. We're gonna be like, were they like canceling the judge program <laughs> too at the same time? Be like, here's your final farewell. Here's a basic. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the worst part uh, of these are the set symbols. The set symbol looks so dumb. <laughs> in the, the only one. I think right. that's a good flex. They're right. kind of endearing. I don't know. Uh, it looks like a cartoony surprised owl face or something. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it's derpy. Yeah, but I I, I need some of these. I I only have one. I think I run two islands, one plains, and one forest in my birds deck. So I definitely need to get to get. Yeah, you could afford it. Yeah. Can I? <laughs> I don't know what the $75 oh, yeah, card the is here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what was $75. Whatever the best one. Probably the planes. I would I guess. The best looking one. I think the planes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Disgusting. Let's start <laughs> contrast. <laughs> Pyrexia all will be one. C's across the board. What Blah. is going on with this? That's when they introduce. Uh, I think the planes is kind of interesting, and then I just lose all interest <laughs> afterwards. And I was just like, "What is? Ew. Like the like it's ugly, but not in a nice the, way. <laughs> what 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 would the would the planes look good in foil? I can see the planes working. Everything else. Yeah, but not with the, the, s- the symbol on the side. That, the mountain. Since the art is so, like, it doesn't have too much texture and not too much black and white. So it looks kind of plain. And then with the se- with the mana symbol, it's so much weight to the side. And why don't you put something? Like, why? It was so fine in the middle. Like, original lands have... Oh, wait, is this, is this changed? Is it normally... Oh. No, it's it not is. normally in the middle. Oh, no, there's variants. Like, yeah, there we go. Ver- there's variants yeah, further in the middle. Yeah, yeah but always in the middle or cut it, but not on one side. Like, look at regular basics have the mana symbol in the middle. Like, come on. Disgusting. <laughs> also, the artwork yeah. is kind of... Eh, the planes is cool. i give you that. Uh, uh, swap. The swap could be... Mm. Children-y. <laughs> 20 to 40 cents a piece so uh, if you like these I have good news for you they're very cheap <laughs> yeah uh, okay Wizard, Wizards also in Phyrexia all be one gave us these ones uh, they, they saw the success of Dominaria and Theros so they're like we'll do it Phyrexian style and we disagreed we gave it all a C <laughs> they, like I appreciate that they actually stuck to the color of the basic, mm-hmm. you know? So I wasn't going to give it an F like the Innistrad ones, but I just don't like them. I, I don't know. It's just not my... Like, I I can understand if people like, you know, the sort of, like, more scully. uh I I don't know. How how would you even describe this metal? Like, I don't know. This looks it like the brutal... Aesthetic. looks like the brutal ones, but instead of black, they're, like, made in the color of the card, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, like... I, I gave it... I gave it a point for being the right color, and I appreciate... Like, I don't think the art is bad or anything. It's just not my style, you know? Yeah. What, what about the fact... I, I feel C is too harsh here, because it does have something unique, which is the lands are in Phyrexian language. So the, the land and the type line are in Phyrexian language. True. Well, that's cool. If, if you're playing a Shouldered deck or a Praetor deck or something, do you, do you yeah. 
use these ones. I could see that. You might be right. They're actually see... running them if you're Phyrexian. Like... like, assume I would give the other black and white ones an F, and this is a C for these reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I actually have so many of Phyrexian. these because I I, ha I got a collector booster of All Will Be One or something, and these never make the cut. Like, sometimes they, they sneak in there, but I, I always think I would like them because they're like, oh, yeah, like the Theros ones. But then I look at it, I'm like, eh, it's kind of disgusting. So I just take it out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, we get even more disgusting here. Mm -hmm. All right. Oil slicks. <laughs> so also Phyrexian language. Uh, they're like pure black, but the, the mana symbol uh, is in the center and it's in the right color or at least outlined in the right color. Uh, five to $11 a pop. Uh, these are foils. I, I actually don't know what they look like in real life. So maybe the I foiling do. changes everything. No, it uh, makes them way like dealing, right? They look, with the sea. they look worse in real they, life than the yeah, picture depicts. Yeah, they look very dark. I, I, that's to me. I see a lot of people who play them. And good for you. Sorry if you paid all this mana for this bundle or whatever when it came out to get these. And you feel about them how I do. Because in spoiler season, I thought, oh, these look cool. And then I saw them. And this oil slick is... It's so dark. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you like dark lands, that's fine. But... Mm, really not my cup of tea there. But it's very clear what it is, though. Unlike some of the other dark lands, you're like, I don't know what it is. You're no, like, very clearly really. it's a planes, right? Uh, no. really. <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't know. They're far too dark. And like, the only reason why I don't give it an F is because, yeah, they have the symbol in the middle and they have, uh, they're trying to show what color it's supposed to be, right? They're trying. They have the outline there, but like, that's not enough for me. This is like, this is not, this is barely barely a pass for me i think in terms of what a basic link could be <laughs> they were so hyped in spoiler season my yeah, god th these are very close to playable for me i think i gotta see them in real life but like kind of the yeah. the ironic look at my dark planes right like but like it's not so disgusting i need to take it out of my deck <laughs> it yeah, still I works could... so I, I i feel i'm on the cusp of playing these if i could would afford you... them and, and would you run them. them over the other phyrexian one for a phyrexian deck or an infect deck Oh, this one. I think of the two, this one? if you had the choice yeah, of money, yeah. <laughs> you, you yeah, would yeah. definitely be going with the with this one, right? Oil Slicky. I actually yeah. like the other one more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, March of the Machine. I don't even I'm remember these. On here. <laughs> that is, is sanctum this, why why does it look like new capendo down there i don't know what's going on uh it's showing all the planes being in like pre-invaded <sighs> oh, so like, oh, like oh but there's phyrexia okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. It. well yeah we gave it a c anyway and uh 15 to 40 cents a pop i don't remember i think when i saw these when i saw these arts i was already over the invasion which maybe maybe that's why wizards of the coast wrapped it up in like one set <laughs> you know the invasion was like done it started and done in a single set because like people were already over it in play testing i don't know <laughs> but like yeah i looked at these and I'm like i just don't care about phyrexia invading places i just i prefer these places without the phyrexian symbols actually and that was it yeah, it kind of... Do the Phyrexian symbols take away anything, or why, why do you guys not like it? You kind of got a point there. Like, it really shoehorns you into, oh, my deck has to have this Phyrexian anger, otherwise why would you play the Zendika land with Phyrexian? Why wouldn't you play the clean Zendika land or something? Uh, I just... It's the ugly frame, and I <laughs> I don't even remember seeing these lands in the packs, and drawing the connection of this being different planes kind of a cool idea but i i it went white by my head hmm. the planes is hot unfortunately it could pass for an island as well oh, <laughs> like, right? I, like yeah. the, the the planes are uh, the rest of the ones are, are trash though like i don't, I don't like, I like this the lands that don't look like like the island just looks like a sheet of ice or something with a very symbol that's kind is of, that yeah. what it is? Yeah, yeah like, I don't know. Yeah. That doesn't scream island to me. And same with the, I the small it's cool, but it's just a cityscape. Uh, like, I'd love to see these lands, but without the Phyrexian stuff, then I'm probably be more interested. In <laughs> yeah, the green one. Oh, never mind. In the, in the sky. Where, where's the Phyrexian thing in the plains? Look at this, the, the top. At the very oh, top. it's the solar. It's like the... All the reddish garbage. 
Also yeah, in the Kamigawa one. like light down onto the, the, the forest. In the swamp, is that a lantern with a Phyrexian symbol? Yeah. So the invasion the happened lantern. and some Phyrexian came with a lantern prepared <laughs> with a Phyrexian symbol on that. Like, ah, uh, it was like this. omens. And puts it on it's its like store. before it, before they arrived, there was like omens everywhere. Okay. Oh, I don't like All right. Lord of the oh. Rings. Lord of the Rings. A beloved franchise. <laughs> Such a missed Depicting opportunity. a map. The map of Middle Earth, uh, Tober with yeah. the C, Phil with the C, me. I had to give some respect to Lord of the Rings with the B. Uh, Thirty to fifty cents. These common surge foils, and they were so plentiful that the surge foils are often just as cheap as the non foils as well. So if you want surge foiling, here you go. Why are they you all like green? The map, oh, the map is super the rule. <laughs> I I should I should be giving it less, but I just love the idea of. It being like a panorama map, even though it's not even a panorama. You can't put them together to find a full map. It doesn't even work that way. Uh, Wait, which, it which frustrates me even more. What Actually, it hell? should be a D. So, so the normal D, panoramas are like five horizontally, but this is a yeah. map. Like, can't you arrange them like into a no. grid or something? No, it doesn't work. You can't no, arrange nothing. them in any way. You can't arrange them in any way. They don't fit. They're not meant to the fit. The idea was so good. Having like the map of Lord of the Rings as your mana base, but then they made them all forests. Why are all of them green? Yeah. They do the well, thing well, where they map. tint How, it. What are you supposed to do? Oh, you want to tint this it? Is, screw it. it. It's not a map regardless. There would be another cool idea, but if it's not a panorama, <laughs> every one of these it's artworks like went has halfway like a with the concept of the color, except for those. Those are all green. That's why the forest gets a B for me. If you play mono green tree beard, Perfect, <laughs> but oh my! God. I I'm surprised they didn't have normal basics in the set, like depicting the various places on Middle Earth. I thought oh, I right. thought that'd be an easy win. Yeah, but fun. they just they just want pure map. I mean, the easiest win would not messing these. And they're all just me. green. They're all the same so, color. So you bad. have no idea. Yeah, yeah, not a fan. All right, Wilds of Eldraine. Uh. Fairy tales, thirty cents to sixty cents, super affordable. Uh, Tober with the A, Phil with the C, Richard with the S. These are actually one some of my like actual all time favorites, like the island in foil. Oh, mm. I stole them all off of Seth. Seth cracked the collector booster. I took them all. <laughs> <laughs> that was before we we knew we were playing Paper Magic for Commander Clash. <laughs> I'm like, no, take back these. They're mine. <laughs> <laughs> the island and the forest and the mountain. Oh, the colors pop so hard. They're so vibrant. And the foil looks so nice. Like, all of these lands are, like, all-time favorites. And they're super affordable, under a buck each. Did you know how they were made? Because uh, the way they were made is even more interesting, it's, I think. What's, what, how, how Probably with, made? like, stamps. It, it's, it's, not a, it's not a painting. It it was like is paper paper oh, wrap sure. where oh, they did layers. What? So every they did they did layers like they did a bridge for example, and then they would do layers 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 of like the river, and then another layer would be the bridge, and then they took a photo of it. No oh, wait, you tell this is paper craft. Someone cut out yeah. these trees in the swamp or whatever. Yeah, and it's a three D it's a three D image of just layers of paper. What? I mean, obviously, some uh, there's some work being done in post, but uh, they oh, do I'm look sure they like did this some touch ups. Especially the, the forest looks like old Disney parallax zooms. Uh, it, yeah. I get it, but they kind of. But it looks fantastic. The... So I, I'm I'm not gonna knock if the border is disgusting, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, they kind of have the same vibe as the how do you call it? retro the. Like the Electro Lands, the ones Richard also liked, but I didn't like. They kind of have the same Wait, vibe. Which, which lands? I don't know. How do, how do you call the retro vibe, retro wave vibe with the polygons? Oh, that oh started. yeah, yeah, yeah. They the kind of similar. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know why I don't like them. I think the coolest artwork is the planes, but it looks like a swarm. <laughs> It looks pretty cool. Yes. I, I think the planes is the actually the worst one at depicting the planes because mm -hmm. they're kind of swampish. But wow. I don't know. It gives me like that very strong like Disney vibe. Mm -hmm. it, the colors are good. The art is good. And now you're telling me it took like 8,000 hours to cut pieces of paper to make it? 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure I saw like on Twitter or something where the artist was like, like literally taking the pictures of the paper craft thingy. It was cool. Yeah. Secret Lair Gary Basement. Okay, you want out there. We've got uh, some cartoon stylized pictures. I don't, I don't know how to describe this art. Okay, it's weird. Uh, Tober with the C, Phil with the B, myself with the A. You're not, you're not digging this? Look, look, look at that island. The it's so bottom, like it's it. just the bottom. <laughs> they would be A. Look at the island. The other look at the island. It's so good. The plains and the mountains is so good. Swamp Forest kind of meh. I would not play these cards. Wow. How yeah. did, how did you like the golf one, dog. but not this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the golf one. Oh, you didn't like the golf one? <laughs> no. This is like I would give to my child, you know? You know, to introduce them to magic. Perfect. But like, I would not play these. I don't know. I don't like them. It's it's that Disney-esque cartoon looking thing. Like, I don't know. I really like the style on it. Like, I don't know what's going on in the plains and why this fox thing is eating a rabbit and the snake has an eye, but I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> it's like, it does have a lot of it's weird subjects for land art, but I give it a pass because they're so unique and cute. I don't know. They're cool. The only problem is the border. <laughs> Phil really hates this border. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So 7 to $10 for Gary Baseman Secret Lair. Wow. Uh, all right. How about meditations on nature secret layer? So this is like Japanese water art. I want to say uh, fill with the C, except for the plane, which is an A. And then myself and Tomer with the B, five to eight dollars. The plane is hot. The plane <laughs> is the only. I think the plane is the only artwork that balances the border because. It looks so much more vibrant, and you kind of don't really see the mana symbol on there. <laughs> <than the art. laughs> so cool. The other ones are like, ah, uh, it is this watercolor style, but I, I'm not sure if I like them. Also, the border. I don't know. The plains is cool. Yeah, I like. I like like the mountain and I like all of them basically. The swamp is kind of like meh, but I feel like that's just like a recurring issue with swamps. How do you make swamps look interesting? I think the swamp they're looks kind of cool. By nature, they're going to be actually seen like a swamp. The they look swamps. nothing like this. Well, at least the swamps in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not yeah. even sure where this like picturesque swamp is supposed to come from. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the flowers. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, like there's a lot of like old school plains art, like not non full art, but there's like. You know, sunflowers. Oh, and stuff the sunflower. Yeah, Ooh, the sunflower yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really, I'm, I'm really digging it. I really like this one. And the plains and islands have birds on them, but the forest does not. So I can't thematically Ooh. shove this into, <laughs> into my birds deck. But you can put two of them in the birds deck. I feel, I feel I gotta complete the cycle, so I'm gonna do that. No. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, I I gotta applaud you for Mr. Singleton, trying right? this at least. Oh, uh, we're we're mismatching art back. styles now. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought you're you're Mr. Mismatch Basics. I thought this is right up your alley. You got one plains, one island, and you go to the next stuff. That's true, but we're mismatching bird species. Is that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> Two different birds and an owl or something. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, Pixel Lands Part 2. So apparently everyone agreed with me that they were so awesome that <laughs> Wizards made a second round. Phil and Tover, however, did not agree. <laughs> so <laughs> with the Cs, I'm with the S. Uh, so these are normal lands. The first round were snow lands. Uh, Five to nine dollars a piece. Isn't that planes hot? It's the same thing as the last one. Look, there's flowers and it's like super bright. <laughs> you guys don't like the planes? I don't like. Uh, like there's I no don't. unbalanced mana symbol, Phil. There's no. Yeah, but the, it's literally pixelated. Like, also cool gimmick with the windows close and minimize thing. They look like proxies to me. I don't know. <laughs> That's most secret layers, though. No. Yeah. True. That's why I usually don't play secret layer styles. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like. I know Richard likes pixel art. I'm not the biggest fan. So I think that's basically it. Do you like pixel art? Then you're going to like these. Oh, yeah. I don't actually like really pixel good pixel art, art. Too much. Uh, from my Marvel oh. Snap days. <laughs> but oh, okay. I mean, I, I like the retro I get... callback. I like the fact that they look like square. So the way they've done the frame, the cards look square, even though most magic cards are not square. Um, yeah. 
the windows frame gets me. I really like the planes. Uh, the rest of the lands kind of suck. Maybe the forest is fine, but the planes is really good in this one. Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Uh, 35 cents a piece. Tober with the D. Ah, Phil with the C. I gave it an S. I would give it a D too <laughs> you know, on F, so honestly. This is the reason why the reason why I gave it a D is when I was drafting Lost Caverns of Ixalan, I kept throwing out the ads, you know, like the token yep. the ad slot, and I put it to the side. And then people, we would be oh, like, so wait, I'm missing some cards in this booster pack. <laughs> and the reason why is because I never knew that these ads were actually the basics. Like, they just look like they, honestly, I could never differentiate between like the ad slot and the basic lands on this. They just, they're so far gone on that. So like, I like the art, but like the layout just doesn't work. And I don't even actually like the art that much actually either. I appreciate the art. How about that? I appreciate the art, but it looks like an ad. Yeah. It looks like a token thing. It looks like you... it looks like they want you to go on arena or something. <laughs> yeah, true. It also looks like like you're opening a jumpstart pack and it's like the island theme pack. And then this is the first card to depict that it's the island theme. It's mm -hmm. just complain same complaint as in other ones they don't look like magic cards anymore and that's a no-go for me oh my god richard's on s art on is it, so though. good we are like I, I, love the art. I love the unique frame my only knock is that swamp is too blue like i don't like the swamp because it looks like an island but oh that forest art that mountain art the plains art the island kind of sucks the, <laughs> the unique frame it's a unique frame they they centered the mana symbol more, Phil. Oh, Not completely, but yeah. Not really. So they good. moved it more centered. That, 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 so, okay, I don't know. You guys aren't American, but they have like these old, uh, when you go to a national park, they have like these old retro postcards that have this kind of style of art. I don't know what it's called, but like you go to Yosemite and they have this kind of postcard. Like I, I love collecting those and I love this art style. This forest is like so cool. Uh, you guys suck. Thirty-five cents. <laughs> <laughs> People, I'm sorry. I just throw them away. I thought <laughs> People just ads. throw them away. Just give them to me. Just give them to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing them away. Uh, Jurassic World collection. Uh, these are double sided, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, Tober with the B. Myself and Phil with the A. A dollar to three fifty. Uh, depicting dinosaurs. All right, I'm gonna do a hot take. I don't like the art. I actually like just dinosaurs? don't like the artwork. <laughs> no, I like the dinosaurs. So if I was running a dinosaur deck, I'd run these cards, obviously, because I need to have dinosaurs on all my cards. But like, I there's something about this art style that feels like pseudo realistic fantasy, and it's it's a bunch of different artists too. So they've all been told to do a certain art style, and I don't like the art style. Like I'm sure all these artists are fine, but they've all decided to they've they've all been instructed to draw in a certain style that i'm just not a fan of in magic so i don't i don't like any of them i would put them lower than a b i would but i will put it in a dinosaur deck where, where else to. can you find a helicopter in magic the gathering <laughs> than on jurassic world hopefully Force. never <laughs> oh. uh i do have to probably bump it down to b because wrong frame and a universe is beyond frame but then again, you can't really be very picky if you play a dinosaur deck. You gotta have some dinosaurs. Although, you gotta have them. Uh, you can always just run old borders, so maybe I don't know. The, the planes. I, I like and the swamp double side. Are hot. Oh no, sorry. The planes and island. Sorry, swamp is a doo doo. The island where that thing is eating a shark in half is gnarly. You can see two bits of it, uh, and I really like the set symbol. The little T Rex head there. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think planes right. and islands are hot. The rest are kind of doo doo. Uh, Secret layer paradise frost. A's across the board. So we like. I don't even know what this art style is called. We like we like these uh, this color palette and this art style. Snow it's covered. Like also snow covered. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. even though it's the imbalanced frame. I think these are the coolest snow covered. Although in the end, I would probably take the old board. These I are, don't know. I don't know. These are the coolest, right? Of the full arts, at least. If, the planes is... If I had to tier list the snow covered 
basics, I would go cold snap, and then I would go these. These ones I like a lot better than like the Modern Horizons ones we looked at, at least. They look yeah, and the more valuable. ones. I like these a lot. They do have uh, once again the cycle is broken. The plains and islands are birds, but then the forest is a fox. Why? <laughs> Bro, you just like make some just that that plains is so good though. That plains is so nice. Yeah. It's so that's nice. Perfect for the birds. Five to nine dollars for, for these ones. I gotta get that plains. Yeah. I think the island was good too. Secret layer raining cats and dogs, five to eight dollars. Uh, a lot of cats and dogs <laughs> on uh, only Naya, only Naya cards here. Tomer and myself with the B, Phil with the A. I mean, I, I, I had to do it, and they are they are very cute. I especially the mountain with the corgi there. Ooh, that is pretty cute. I think the the problem with this one for me is that I'm not the right target demographic. Like, who did they make raining cats and dogs for? Really? They made it for people who have cats and dogs, right? I don't own a cat or dog. So I ha I'm less interested in basics full of cats and dogs. Although I do love corgis, so the mountain does get a little pass. And all, again, I just don't like the art style that much. What is is there a, what is the name of this art style? I don't like it's it. It's just realistic though, art, no? Is that I don't it like is? it. <laughs> I stop with it. Stop. It looks so stop to not in my magic. Brilliant. I, I I know what you're saying. It looks like a over polished or something. There is a distinct style to it, but I can't really call it out specifically. It's funny that there's like this dog training park triangle in the background, like in the midst of nature. There's yeah. this thing to train your dog, <laughs> but hey, I guess they rule the All world right. in these. Oh. Year of the Dragon Mountain. This is Yo. not even... I don't know why there's no price for this. Shouldn't it be out? Year of the Dragon has already started. Uh, because how do you, you can't afford it, Richard. How do you get you this? I don't know. It. This must be an APAC promo or something. But, you know when you go to like certain stores, like a jewelry store, and there's no prices, and it's like if you if you have to ask for the price, you, you don't belong here. This product is not like, that's where That's where we're at. To Tober busted out the S for this one. I haven't seen a single S from Tober. So oh, myself and Tober S, fill with the B. The frame. This has to be the best mountain, hands down. No. It is a pretty good, like, if that would be full art like the original John Evan ones, who? But the art is so, like, so plain. Not in a bad way. It looks super cool. But I can only look at this, this mountain symbol. And then there's, like, you go on Photoshop and click, like, the the cheap 3D mode? Why did they use this frame for this? Why no fancy <laughs> Japanese-style yeah. frame or, like, Chinese-style frame? Like, why? Like, the artwork is truly insane. If you run a Mono Red Mountain, all of these, ooh, but the frame? Uh -oh. This thing is foil, too. It's not going to be cheap. Oh. <laughs> it's not oh. going to be cheap. Yeah. I, I yeah. this one. I agree with the Phil that the frame does a bad job for how sweet this art is. Like, I feel like they could have done something else with the frame. Or just remove, just remove just the remove template. Just remove it, yeah. You know? Like, just let it, just show the art, and that's it, and be like, there you go, you'll <laughs> figure you'd it out. And then you don't know if that's a mountain or not. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Looks like an art you, card, if you threw pay, it out. <laughs> if you paid $100 for it, I'm sure you, could, you knew what type of thing it was. Uh, yeah. Murders at Karloff Manor. Oh, God. Too busy. What the heck is going on here? C's across it's the board. So busy. Thirty cents. It looks like a puzzle. It looks like a puzzle or something. Just like a weird pattern. Ah, uh, what's wrong with these buildings? Like, why are they so packed together? And is it the? Uh, I think that's perspective is wrong. Head shift from the style and the perspective. That's like yeah. Certain... How do you call this if the perspective doesn't change? Upper eye. Yeah. Uh, uh, I forget it. Uh, I forget same. the style. But it's like a certain you're not you're not above you're like on an angle. Yeah, and also there's no down. real like the perspective doesn't really make sense, right? It, it reminds me of some I don't know like there's like some classic art that has this perspective, but I'm I'm not sure if that's just because no one knew how to draw perspective <laughs> at that point, or they went out of their way to style to stylize it like that. But it reminds me of that, except it's. Not cool and just confusing, and I don't really like this. No, uh, it's just really yeah. the same buildings, 
tinted in different colors, right? Like I don't see a swamp in here or forest or island or anything. No, they're right? they're different buildings, but it's just the problem is there's like so much detail, so much stuff going on in each one. Like the forest has, you know, like parks and stuff. It looks like a promenade. Um and the island has like Oh, there's some it water. There. It's not yeah, an yeah. island. It has like a moat. All right, Tomer. How about mountain? Tell me what's mountainy about this. <laughs> I got it fine now. <laughs> but like that's kind of the gimmick with Ravnica too. If you look at the previous basics, it's, yeah. it's a megalopolis. They, it's only it's just like a, the city takes up the entire plane basically. Um, so it's just it's just buildings everywhere except for the rubble belt and stuff. Um, so that's what they usually depict. They usually depict buildings and try to flavor it as the colors. But this one, I feel like there's. Did not it did not hit for me it's just so busy there's just so much stuff on that thing it's hard to parse all right standard showdown uh to entice you to go play standard at your lgs uh no price yet phil with the c tomer at the b myself at the a these are pretty nice lands no i actually like these a bit it's just the the triangle what is the triangle (laughs) why is there omen path what is that should I know what that open is? Pa- what? Richard. Let's tell you travel. What is that supposed to be? It's an open pass. After after the Phyrexia was defeated, uh, a lot of planeswalkers lost their sparks, but then also they opened uh, tunnels between the planes so anybody can travel from like Innistrad to wherever. Like, Why don't I path. see this in any other art? Or have I yeah, that's, like, that's how like it's Rakdos are showing way. up in like Thunder Junction. This, this, stuff, looks, you know? this looks like uh, Doctor Strange or something where they, they do the twirly thing in a portal. I, I know for a, <laughs> Is this Stargate? Know for a What's going on? I've seen this in other art yeah. because one of your favorite cards, the green ramp card, Open the Way, is literally them walking through an open path. I gotta look at it. I, don't, I just, I just <laughs> admire how much value I'm getting every time I cast that card. I don't even know. <laughs> well, there's your Lord. The planes. It, it feels like Universes it's Beyond is coming, right? The Universes Beyond symbol opens up and then oh, Fortnite no. runs through. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Please, man. no, Spider. Well, that's how they. That's how they cross over, right? That's how they can get Universes Beyond <laughs> yeah. into Universes Within. All right. So standard showdown. I actually like not that. out yet though. Not out yet. So yeah. I actually like the swamp a lot too. I don't know. Swamp Forest. I think the is fine. The Plains is good. Island is kind of meh. I like the island. I don't know. All right. Uh, Fallout. How about post-apocalyptic world? Uh, These should be cheap. I don't know how much they're going to be, but Lord of the Rings had... Actually, Lord of the Rings had normal boosters, though. These come in collector these boosters. Collector boosters. So I don't know what they're going to be. But uh, Tomer with the D, Bill with the C, myself with the B. Wait, I think, sorry to throw this in, but I think Lord of the Rings had regular lands. Wait, just, so, I, <laughs> just They're so forgettable my, that no one remembered them? I guess. <laughs> Wait, what, what was depicted on them? Did we? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Sorry. <laughs> my, this, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> them. How about Coca-Cola bottle or something at the side of a mountain? <laughs> like, what, I, 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 I could dig that. I think if I Richard, played, did you ever play Fallout? Yeah. Nope. This franchise has no meaning to me. <laughs> ah, so you just still like it. I'm an Elder Scrolls guy. Play. Oh, it's so. a popular game. It's a popular game. So it should oh. be... The the best thing, I think, is the set symbol. They should just make, put the big yeah. set symbol there. Uh, I don't really care. For, like, I've never played Fallout. I don't really care to play Fallout. I do like the fantasy side more, like Skyrim and whatnot. But... um. Yeah, I don't really care for the art. Four, I think like four out of like five Fallout, have a doggo. Like these. So if you want doggos on the cheaper side, <laughs> probably these yeah, Fallout yeah. lands. I don't know the doggo's missing in planes. Is that a spoiler? I don't know what happened there, but there's a doggy in the rest of them. Hmm. And yeah, uh, really find the dog. If I played the game. This is probably cooler, but, but I don't know. We I did think. it. That that yes. that, that was uh, 50, 53 full art basic cycles we we're only slightly over time by 50 percent, guys <laughs> but we wow. got through them all uh let us know in the comments what your favorite land cycles are and if you guys are all disgusting retro frame lovers that don't like the unbalanced <laughs> symbol <laughs> i feel all of these get minus two from phil to begin with <laughs> just from the frame alone yes. like you yeah. cannot you cannot beat them but if you put them in the retro frame phil would be like s plus Sure. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think. What 
What your favorite full art basics? Uh, which ones are you running? And more importantly, do you mismatch? Do you mismatch? Uh, let us know in the comments and we'll see you all back here next week.